He'll go to the mound and hope. Now we'll take a look at the Angels' offense. It's going to be Rodriguez now. Well, lost last night for the Indians. So after dropping game one of three in this series, they'll be trying to notch one against the Angels. Well, looking at this ball club here in August, Gary, without putting an X by their name, I think we can eliminate them. Yeah, this ball club's not able to play 500. If you don't do that, you're out. Yeah, and they showed some promise coming out of spring training, but it all just fell apart quickly for this team to get this far behind in August. It's hit foul by Rodriguez. The pitch from Myers. Well, had to happen at some point, and there it was. That's strike three, first career strikeout. It's hard to argue with his performance lately, contributing in a big way, going 20 for his last 57 at bats. Just before the trade deadline is when he really picked up his production, and that momentum is carried on. Wilson winds up for the one two Foul. and he fouls off another one taps this one foul, foul to the right Brantley hits this one he grabs it off the hop. But the throw is wide. He's in there at second. Oh, what a wild throw. It's going to be Rodriguez now. Gary, just a solid performance here from Myers today. Nice effort. How's he delivering on these first pitches? Let's look and see. Shot back to first. And that's going to go through. That could be trouble. This one rolls through to the wall. And he'll stop at second base. And it will be a double. Well, you can't ask for a better way to start the inning. A leadoff double. Now big things can happen. Conga's going to take a shot. Oh, and there goes Rodriguez. And he's in there at third. With that kind of lead, it makes it so much easier to get in safely to third base, especially when the pitcher's acting like he doesn't even notice you out there. That is a strike. Brett Myers, 0-2. Oh, that kind of break on the curveball in that kind of location. It can lead to success. That was a good pitch right there. And he dives back safely. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get him chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. Chris Iannetta at the plate. One for four. Lifetime against Brett Myers. Hit up the middle. Rodriguez scores. Now coming to bat for the Los Angeles Angels of Amazon. Second base, number 46. Not quite his best stretch right now, picking up just 11 hits over his last 58. Toward the end of July, his production came. Swung on, line to right field. That will bring Nick Swisher up. Well, he waited for that one to get. He doubled and scored in his last trip to the plate. Had a double his last time up. Here's the first pitch. There's contact. He drove it well. This one's going to be fielded by Stubbs. And there's the third up. He'll lead it off. Home half. We're in the sixth. Swung on, liner to right, and that one is in there, his second hit today. And that'll bring up Carlos Santana. Well, this is what you want to bait. He'll start the home half of the seventh. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. There's a swing and a liner towards first, and Rodriguez takes care of that one. It's going to be Rodriguez now. Flew out last time. We'll try it again here, just one for three thus far. Here's the first one. It's hit foul by Rodriguez. Pistano kicks and throws. Liner between first and second. And he gets that one down. His second hit two for four today. Well, anytime you bring in a relief pitcher to come in in, in, in a key situation, the last thing you want to do is for him to serve one up to the first hitter. That's exactly what he did, giving up that big base hit. 
Conga's going to take a shot at it. Had a home run back in the sixth. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Gary, he gets a little over anxious at the plate when the count goes to 0-1. So look for them maybe to expand the strike zone and get him to chase something. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Well, it's fair to say, Gary, they needed that out badly. Now he's got to come right back at him and get another one. They're down. They cannot give up more runs here this late in the game. Chris Iannetta at the plate. Last at bat. He grounded out. Strike started off the at bat 0 1. Well, as a hitter, when a guy has a good fastball, you think you have to swing a lot harder to try to catch up with it. You really don't. But he did right there, and that's why he blew it past him. Pistano's pitch, he can't find the zone. Well, clearly the pitcher's in control right here. This guy really struggles on the fastball when he's behind in the count, so look for the heat. And he leaves that one alone. Ionetta shows patience. That'll even up the count. That two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. And Ionetta struck out on a big swing. But keeps the runners right where they are. Now two out. Not a lot of time left in this ball game. You cannot give them more runs. And it's Howie Kendrick. Ball. Lifetime numbers 314 against the Indians. Ball one uh, to begin this at bat. 1 0. Oh. Ready with a 1 0. Oh. Fastball oh, just misses and he falls behind 2 0. Hit up the middle. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle. Almost got him. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Well, so many things going in the right place for Anaheim today, and a chance for them now to build on this success as they move forward with the next game.